What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free channel is a reading for Sana Leo. This card today, if you have not for Sana Leo, I'm sorry, this collective reading for all signs, cat suicide, your body in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does, doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free channel is like reading. I did post a new reading on the hashtag Leo Game channel today if anybody wants to check it out. Um, and thanks to all my new subscribers over there. I really appreciate all the love and support. I really do. Um, okay, so I received a channeling in. Um, so I'm going to do it. Y'all know I was supposed to be in um, Knoxville this weekend, but I'm back. So I'm receiving all these channelings, so I'm putting them out there. So um I guess everything happened for a reason. It really sucked because I was really looking forward to spending time with my kids this weekend. But um, like I told my kids, I got the lawyer bill in this weekend, like literally when I was waiting on them. So I didn't, um, and I, for some reason I can't pull the attachment up on my phone. I can pull it up on my computer. So I didn't want to go in debt getting a hotel room. <laughs> I didn't know how much it was. Now I know how much it was. Now I know how much it was. I've already paid it and we're good, but I'm back here. So it is what it is. Um, my kids didn't want to come back. They said they felt unsafe here. So, I mean, I don't do anything to make them feel unsafe. So, um, and my son gets car sick. He gets car sick too, but it is what it is. But anyway, so yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I do. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, some serious truth is about to come out soon, and it's about to hurt a lot of people, but it needs to come out. It needs to be said, and it needs to come out, um, and it is going to come out. That's what I heard. Um, the truth hurts is what I just heard. Oh, my God. I heard the truth hurts. The truth hurts. So you plug it in, how it resonates. The truth hurts. So a lot of truth is about to come out soon. Um, a lot of people don't want it to come out, but I heard it's going to come out whether these people want it to come out or not. Um, and the truth, it's going to hurt. The truth's going to hurt. Whatever the hell this truth is and how this applies, it's going to hurt. Um, it's going to benefit the people that have been honest. The liars, it's not going to benefit. It's going to benefit the people that have been honest. And um, obviously, it's not going to benefit the liars. So the truth is going to hurt the liars. So I feel you guys could be the honest, upright, high vibrational being about to d deliver truth on these low vibrational beings is what I'm feeling. Um, you plug it in into your own particular life story and situation, how it resonates with your psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So you have to plug yourself in where it fits. But I heard the truth's going to hurt the low vibrational beings. So the ones that don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. But it's, it sounds like it's going to benefit you guys, the ones, the truth speakers, the truth uh, seekers, the truth speakers, the truth slayers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is going to hurt the ones that have been lying. Somebody's been lying out in the universe. So, heard the truth hurts. So, the truth's going to hurt these people. There's two different categories and groups of people in here. So, you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Your messages you have to like Nine of Cups reversed. Queen of Pentacles upright, the Hermit upright.
Abuse and exploitation is about to be revealed. Some on, a, on an adult, some on kids. And this is about to come from external sources. Abuse and exploitation is about to be revealed. Some on um, an adult, some on kid or kids. And it's about to come from external sources. So somebody was not giving, loving, and kind. Abusive. I heard abuse and exploitation. So they not only exploited a child, children, or an adult, but they that is abuse. Giving, loving, ungiving, unloving, unkind. Um, yeah, that's terrible. Um, to... Um, the child, children, or ki um, adult. I feel these uh, people are very high manifestors, whether it's children, child, children, or adults. I feel they're very high manifestors. They're coming in as Queen of Pentacles upright. It could be femme energies or masculine takes on femme energies, but these children or these adult or adults are high. They're they're coming in as Queen of Pentacles. They're high manifestors. They they make the money. They bring in the money. Um, whoever they are. They have went within. They're in hermit mode. But um, they were trying to be isolated. Intentionally isolated. But it's about to hugely blow up in these abusers' face, faces. They were trying to intentionally be, intentionally be isolated. But it's about to hugely blow up in these abusers' faces. So these kid, kids, or adult, or adults was intentionally trying to be isolated. But it's about to hugely blow up in these abusers' faces. So, um, could be dealing with a Virgo, possibly, a Virgo energy. If you are, if you have you or somebody you're connected to, could have Virgo and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, hammer, and Jupiter charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's about to blow up. Shouldn't be abusing and exploiting anybody. Spirit messages you have like this. Two of Pentacles reversed, four of swords upright, three of cups reversed. Someone is very, very, very pissed because they like to have sex parties and orgies, but they're very afraid of doing it now because they're afraid their spouse will take them for a divorce. This person likes to cause chaos and conflict in other people's lives, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Ugh. So you plug it in how it resonates. So... Whoever this person is, I don't feel it's you guys. I feel it's somebody you're connected to, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard they um, were trying to, they like to have orgies and sex parties. So, swinger energy, orgies and sex parties. It sounds like out in the community. It sounds like they have a long history of it in the past. I don't know, man. I've never done any orgies or sex parties or swingers or anything like that. I, that's just not me. But some people do, and I'm not, I don't judge them. But as long as you keep me out of your orgy, swinger, sex party ways. I'm good. But they love to have them, but they're legally married, whoever this person is. They're legally married, but they're afraid of doing them now because they're afraid their spouse will take them for a divorce. Basically, take half the money, the assets. Are, well, if it's infidelity, they could probably take more than half. Um, more than half. Um, me and my ex-husband divorced many, many moons ago. Irreconcilable differences. And we got half. Half and half. Um, so I'm thinking infidelity. Of course, I'm not a lawyer. Just saying, just saying. But I'm thinking infidelity, you could probably get more, possibly, but I don't know. Um, I divorced on the pretense of irreconcilable differences. It should have been infidelity. I just didn't have proof. Um, but um, I just wanted out of marriage, and that's just the truth. But, um, but whoever this is, they're legally married. I think it's somebody you guys know, and they basically have a hit. They love to do the swinger party lifestyle, but Sounds like their spouse has stopped it. They've stopped it, um, or the community has stopped it. How that resonates, and it pisses them off. I heard they, they like to cause chaos and conflict in other people's lives, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. 
It's about to backfire in a huge way. It's about to backfire in a huge way. So two of pentacles, no more juggling, no more swinger sex party orgies. They've been resting and relax say, ra relaxing their sexual organs. Uh, no party in celebration. It makes them very pissed um, because they're not able to go out and do their party ways. Um, and this person I heard likes to cause chaos and conflict in other people's lives. So not only do they like to go out and spread their sexual energy everywhere with orgies and sex parties and swinger parties and what have you, what have you, they like to, they like to, they make them happy when they see chaos and conflict in other people's lives. It makes them happy, which is, that's sadistic shit, and that's just the truth. Um, but they are about to experience chaos and conflict in their own life. So they're basically about to get the negative karma out that they secretly wish upon other people. Spirit messages, okay. Spirit messages here. King of Wands upright, King of Cups upright, Six of Wands upright. A very high vibrational feminine energy. Many people have been blackmailed to stay away from her. But through many, uh, many series of chain of events, they're about to come into her, come into her, and come into her. There are many different ways. Communication. Communication, communication, communication. Some in the 3D. Things are about to start moving very fast. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so there's a, you, you could be the femme energy or it could be a femme energy connected to you, but some kind of femme energy was somebody blackmailed somebody. Or it sounds like a bunch of people, a bunch of people. They blackmailed a shit ton of people, basically stay away from femme energy for specific reasons. Probably for isolation reasons um, is what I'm presuming because we have isolation and abuse and exploitation in here, but it really could be for any reason. Uh, they probably, they either blackmailed them on, on like, um, if you go to her, I'll tell blah, 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 or they paid them off, how that resonates. But how that resonates, um, the people are about to start rushing into her anyways. And a lot of them, and a lot of them, and a lot of them, and I heard it's going to make it go fast. So six wands upright, fast energy. I feel their masculine energy is coming to you, fem, a fem energy, or masculine, or a fem that takes on heavy masculine. We got King of Wands upright, desire, drive, motivation towards you, giving, loving, and kind towards you. Hopefully, it is not manipulation, but you be the best leader and discernment of your own life there, man, if that resonates for you. But it is about to start going fast. Six of Wands, man. It's about to start going fast, um, freeing up the energetic space here with the Six of Wands. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. Okay. We'll do one more. Spirit messages here, Abercrombie. Nine of Cups upright. Four of Wands reverse, the Chariot upright. For some of you dealing with the Cancer, we have Cancerian energy. If you are, they have Cancer in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. You plug in how it resonates. A neighbor is about to report a meth addict. In one of these situations, it is a nurse. 
One, it is not. It is about to, the police are about to get involved and it's about to happen soon. This person will be arrested and charged and their career is about to tank. The, the, the nurse, RN. Oh my God. Okay. Well, drugs and alcohol, partying too hard. It's drugs and alcohol. This is meth use, secret meth user. One, it's at least two people in the universe. One, it's a RN, um, registered nurse like me. One, it is not a RN. It could be anybody else. Um, but they're a secret meth user, but their neighbor knows they are, or they're about to find out they are. For some, you could be the neighbor uh, about to find out about this RN's drug use, this registered nurse is drug use. Um, anybody doesn't know, if you know of a nurse, LPN or RN or what, or LVN or CRNT or what have you, what have you, that is using drugs, or, um, using drugs, you can report them to the Board of Nursing. Just to let you know, I had to report a nurse when I worked at Crestwood Medical Center. Um, I think it was January or February when I had to report her. Um, and she ended up getting her license revoked. Um, and I'm serious. She was sh um, shooting up. I don't know what she was shooting up. She was shooting up something with her ass cheek hanging out and her scrub pants down in the triage area. Right in the middle, plain day. Didn't even go to the bathroom shooting it up in her butt, whatever crap it was. But um, I got communication from the Board of Nursing because I reported her, and I checked the status because I didn't even know her name, but they found out who she was, the Board of Nursing did. I think she probably was already in the VDAP, is my presumptive logic, reasoning, and guesstimate, but I'm not sure because I only provided them limited information because when I worked in the ER, we only had our first names on the badge. We, I didn't even know her last name, and I didn't know her license number. But I did report her. They found out who she was. Um, and they, her license ended up getting revoked. So if anybody needs to know that. You don't have to be a nurse to report a nurse. You can be a citizen to report a nurse. So I feel you might be the neighbor about to report this RN, registered nurse, drug user. Is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. For some, you may not be. But heard a neighbor is about to report one a RN, a registered nurse, secret meth user, one not a RN, anybody else. Um, I heard it's going to make it move fast, and the police are going to get involved. Their person's going to get uh, arrested for several charges, not just this, two, two-plus charges, um, and it's going to make it move fast. I'm thinking not only the police are going to get involved, but he or she is going to lose their job um, because they're going to have to tell their employer why they're in jail. I hope the employer reports their ass to the Board of Nursing. And that's why I bring that up, because it flashes me back to January, February, when I had to report that other nurse for um, shooting up unknown medication into her butt cheek in the clear day of freaking um, a triage area in a hospital. I mean, true story. True story. I still have the communication and the paperwork over here. True freaking story. So this is the meth use. Um, whether it's a registered nurse or not a registered nurse. Unhappy home. Um, it's making an unhappy home somewhere in this home life because of this meth use. Um, whether it's the registered nurse or not a registered nurse. Movement forward. This can be police. I think this is police in this deck. Because movement. Moving, moving, travel. This is the police coming in. Um, when the neighbor calls. And when these situations a neighbor one, a neighbor's going to call. One, it's going to be someone they would have never expected. One, a neighbor is going to call. And one is going to be someone they would have never expected. So for one of these situations, whether it's the registered nurse or not a registered nurse, the neighbor's going to call. It's going to make the police come in. Woo! And one, it is um, someone they would have never expected to make the police come in. Woo! Um, I heard charges. So at least two or two plus charges. And, um, and honestly, they deserve it because, I mean, I'm all about rehabilitation, but if you don't rehabilitate yourself, you've got to make positive steps to rehabilitate, rehabilitate, rehabilitate yourself. If you don't, then you're still stuck in the same cycle. You know, we should all focus on growing and improving our lives. And that's just the truth. Uh, for some, it might be a cancer, um, or they might have cancer in their chart or any other sign. But I am, this is police energy in here. 
Uh, strong police energy. Strong. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Okay. Let's pull one kipper and then I'll close it. Experiment to just have it like this. On labor. Poverty. Number 38 or 37 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 38 or 37. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 38 or 37. An air sign that is com secretly competing with their sister, air sign feminine, heavy, heavy Libra placements, and Gemini placements. They're secretly com uh, competing with their sister. They have an online public social media platform. Um, their business is about to tank in a huge way. Okay. So, air sign, fem energy, heavy Libra, and Gemini placements. So, they have Libra and Gemini heavy in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Sun, Moon, Hey, Mary, Jupiter charts. Um, there are Libra, um, Libra, Gemini, and Air Sign, Fem. So, combination, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy Gemini, Heavy Libra. Um, feminine. I heard they are secretly competing with their sister. Why do we secretly compete with anybody? That's just not cool, ma'am. And that's just the truth. Don't secretly compete with people. If you're going to compete with them, tell them to, uh, face to face. And that's just damn true. You might need to hear that. But I heard they are secretly competing with their sister. I'm assuming the other sis their sister has an online public social media platform. But I heard um, their business is about to tank in a huge way. And that would be pulling labor. They're working on their online public social media platform. Poverty, they're about to, um, the money loss is about to come. Because I guess the negative karma because they're secretly competing. If the thing is, is if their sister has an online public social media platform, just tell them, hey, I've got one too, blah, 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 blah. I don't get secret competing energy. I don't get it. I don't believe in it. But basically, their business is about to tank. So I think that's the poverty energy. And they've been working on something to do with the online public social media platform, whatever that is and how that applies. Okay. This person could have Libra or Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. They might have Aquarius as well. Heavy air sign energy. All right. Let me pull one more. Here, let's see if you have a like this. House. Main male, number 20 or 1, could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 20 or 1, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any, any other significant number, 20 or 1. House, main male. The selling of a home is about to become very significant. The buying of a home is about to become very significant. The renting of an apartment is about to become very significant. The buying of a home, the selling of a home, and um, a renting and a renting of an apartment is about to become very significant. So house, um, homing, home, housing situation. Buying of a home, selling of a home, renting of an apartment. Very nice apartment. Very nice apartment. 
So buying of a home, selling of a home, renting of a very nice, luxurious apartment, apparently. Um, I'm feeling very nice, luxurious apartment, apparently. I'm feeling very nice, like security and maybe concierge and maybe penthouse. I mean, very nice. Main mail. A masculine energy is about to very heavily get involved behind the scenes. In many situations. And a power couple is about to be formed soon. A masculine energy is about to very heavily get involved behind the scenes very soon, and a power couple is about to be involved, uh, about to be formed very soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So power couple, uh, the power couple hasn't been formed yet, but it sounds like it's about to be in the universal space. Maybe some of you guys are about to form it with this main male, or you are the main male about to form a power couple with another male or another female. How that resonate? I don't judge. I kissed a girl. I liked it okay, but it's not anything. I uh, I wouldn't do anything with the girl unless I was paid. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't do gay for pay. Um, <laughs> I don't. But um, I don't judge people that do. But um, I'm just not into gay. I'm not into gay. I'm not into the gay lifestyle. I'm just not. If I want, I like a dude. I like a dude and their penis. And that's just the truth. Um, that's just me. I mean, I, ha I the thing, okay, I'm a chick. I have all the parts of a chick. If I was gay, you'd have the same parts as I do. And that's no fun. And that's, that's just the way I look at it. I'm just saying. I'm not into gay lifestyle, lifestyle, but I don't judge people that are. Okay? My daughter is gay. I don't judge that. But I sure as hell don't want to be gay. And that's the truth. Anyways, I heard a power play. Uh, Not a power play. A power couple is going to be formed in the universe soon. But it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. But there's a masculine energy about to get involved behind the scenes soon um, in many situations. So I think he's about to get involved. Whoever this person is, I think they're very strategic. They're very strategic, and I think this might be the half of the power couple energy about to be formed in the universe. I didn't hear that. That's just my strategic, deductive logic and reasoning on this. I'm serious. I think he might be the upcoming half of the power couple, uh, pending power couple. Because it has, hasn't happened yet in the universe. Whether it's a masculine to masculine power couple or a femme to masculine power couple. But there's a reason he's strategically about to get involved behind the scenes in many situations soon. Whether it's the half of this pending power couple or not. How that resonates and applies. I think it's going to make him very happy. Number 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. It's going to make him very happy. He knows the past and he's about to help amend it. He has connections with a lot of people and he's about to use them. Okay, I heard it's about to make it, him very happy. He has connections with a lot of people and he's about to use them because he knows the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, whoever this masculine energy is, I feel for some of you guys, you could be this masculine energy. Um, I think you have your eyes, you obviously have your eyes set on somebody, and it's somebody that's a mega manifester, or can be a mega manifester, or um, or just has a lot to offer in the universe. You know this person is very, very, very well worth it, whoever this other pending half of the power couple is. I heard power couple, so I'm thinking it might be a relationship going to be formed down the line, or you might end up collaborating or working with this person, and the feelings get formed, and then you end up, both of you mutually deciding to become together, like in a relationship, like mutual agreement and decision, because the feelings are mutual, possibly. But only you know your story and situation, not anybody else, sir. But you're very, very, very integral in this. 
and it's about to make you happy because I heard you know the past. So whether you are the half of this pending power couple or not, you're about to behind the scenes get involved in many things. Um, it's going to make you happy because you know the past and you apparently have a lot of connections with a lot of people and you're about to use them. Something regarding the, the past and maybe an up because uh, upcoming selling of a home and property is about to become significant. An upcoming buying of a home and property is about to become significant. And the upcoming renting of a very luxurious condominium, not condominium, why did I say condominium? For some it could be a condominium, I heard apartment, apartment is very significant. For some it could be a condo, I didn't hear a condo, I heard apartment. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? All right, let me see if I hear anything else. I didn't. I didn't. All right. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to say.